right, so let's just start off with uh, your name, who you are, where you played, you know, what you're doing. Yeah, um, my name's Chad Palumbo. Uh, I went to Noble and Greeno High School in uh, Dedham, Massachusetts, and I'm playing at Princeton next year. I really started lacrosse uh, back in first grade. Um, I know my dad pretty much signed me up for every sport possible. My dad never really even heard about lacrosse until after college for the most part, so uh, he never played or anything, but um, I played Little League for a while, but once I tried my hand at lacrosse, a uh, little U9 lacrosse, it was a lot faster paced. I, I, I fell in love with the game instantly, honestly. Okay, good form, try another. My first memory with the sport, my dad took me out to the backyard before my first uh, town tryout or practice or whatever you want to call it when, uh, when I was uh, in first grade. And we were, we were throwing the ball around trying to figure out if I was a righty or a lefty. That's, that's my, my first memory. And what did you land on? I landed on lefty even though my dad was pretty surprised because I, I write with my right hand and everything but you know from hockey and batting and baseball to lacrosse, anything with a stick, I felt comfortable holding it in my left hand. Yeah, messing around in the backyard, I mean, when I'm playing wall ball or shooting, I just, you know, like to take my time to just mess around with stuff and try new things. Um, I started watching Lyle Thompson, and I figured my dad would tell me, if you can score at any angle, how can you be guarded? So I tried to <laughs> figure out if someone's guarding me, however they're guarding me, if I can get a shot off, then it's a good shot, so. I had my first surgery uh, in August, and I ended up getting, it wasn't, we weren't too worried about, you know, I was just getting a tumor removed, we weren't too worried about what it may be, but then, um, after the surgery, like a week later, we got a call and they didn't diagnose me. They said that there's a decent chance here that this, that this was cancerous and that you might have cancer, which um, obviously, you know, for an 18-year-old kid hit pretty, it, it blindsided me, completely blindsided me. And um, I got diagnosed in like the first week of September. And, you know, the, with the initial diagnosis, you don't really, they can't really tell you too much about it, so you don't know really what it means. You know, you don't know if that means you're not going to be able to make it, or if that means you know you only got a month to like get rid of stuff and then you'll be good. So it was it was a lot of mixed emotions, um, kind of that came with the unknowing of uh, the future, really. So once I figured out that you know I could beat this thing, I was I was pretty happy, and I knew that. You know, I was strong enough to handle it and carry myself well. So I started, uh, I started chemotherapy, um, I think it was September 30th, so right at the very end of September, um, which honestly just sucked. Uh, there's no real way to put it other than just sucks. Originally when I started my chemo, my doctors told me that um, they knew I was trying to play in college and um, they pretty much told me like, Best case scenario, you're probably gonna lose a little muscle, but um, just try to retain as much as you can um, and do as much as you can to retain you know, all, uh, as much muscle as, as your body will be able to hold. Um, and they were pretty shocked when I started gaining muscle uh, throughout chemo. They, they'd never really seen that before. I'm, I'm pretty proud that I, to say that I didn't miss any practices or any games or anything this season because of that, uh, no matter how bad I was feeling or anything. Yeah, well, the spring season couldn't have gone much better. I mean, we won the ISL championship, which was something I've wanted since I started playing uh, Nobles across. And um, this was our first, it was the first time we won it since uh, I was in eighth grade, which I wasn't on team, but um, so it was a pretty special win for all of us, especially considering that the last time we won the championship, we ended up sharing it with the team that we beat this year. So it was pretty amazing that, that uh, the team came together and we got to do that this year. All right. Uh, we're down here for the Under Armour All-America game, which I'm 
pretty excited about. I've, I've wanted to play in this game, you know, since I was a little kid, so. Yeah, it feels weird. First of all, congratulations to all of you for making this. This is great. This is something you'll live and have for the rest of your life. You know, congratulations, enjoy it, let's have fun. I really recommend you get to know each other because you guys will be friends or at least teammates or even competitors against each other for a long time. Right, right, right. Take that shot. Yeah. Just pull it every time. You're gonna you shoot it over him. You got the arms. Shoot it. Just let it go. What? What's what's this work car where you throw the thing? Javelin. Javelin. Someone can do just dance. I was like, hold this. Fuck. happened to me I think even my cancer diagnosis um, was somewhat of a blessing in disguise because I think it's absolutely changed uh, the man I am right now um, and I'm really proud of who I've become because of that and how I've dealt with that and um, uh, pretty much just I'm really proud that I didn't let it slow me down and that um, I was able to persevere through all of it. Everyone goes through some sort of adversity through their life. Um, I think one of the biggest things uh, I kept reassuring myself was just you know keep my head down and keep moving. I just kept telling myself, um, whenever, I, whenever I was really struggling, I was just, just keep going. Just don't stop now, keep going. You're gonna be grateful in the end if you just keep going. If you stop now, you know, you're gonna regret it. So just never stop and just, just keep moving forward, no matter if that's, you know, if you have to crawl forward, crawl forward. If you can run forward, run forward. Just keep moving forward no matter what. <laughs> 